it's Manda, and I'm coming to you with another Ink Flight video. Um, as you know, Ink Flight is one of my favorite days of the month. Okay, I'm back. Literally every time I turn the camera on to record, I sneeze. So anyway, it is Ink Flight Day. We have a small box, which means probably not paper unless it's a small, teeny tiny little notebook. But we're gonna go ahead and open this. Um, I'm using an old notebook that's full with swatches, so I'm gonna finish this page. And then I'm gonna do this page if we need it. This page is just young blood lyrics copied all over the place because I was obsessed with the song when it came out. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what we've got in the box. I'm gonna hide the paper because I don't wanna know what it is yet. We have inks. And we have goodies. We have goodies. Oh, 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 oh. We have all kinds of goodies. Let's see what we got here. That's it. All right, so we have a platinum converter, which tells me that this um, has, oh, and then we have a sticker. And then we have a platinum placier. Oh, this is really pretty. This is a red one. Very pretty. I have a couple of the other ones. I have the pink and blue one from the anniversary, and then I have the gray and pink one that was also part of the anniversary so very exciting I like platinum place ears I think the ones that I have are fine and this one is a medium so that's very exciting I don't know um yeah we're gonna we're gonna have to see what's going on here so let's look at our inks because that's really what everybody cares about actually we'll read about the goodies um, a step up from the preppy the platinum placier has an aluminum barrel and cap to provide extra weight it says extra weight but it's actually a very lightweight pen um enhanced texture and a colorful look the transparent grip section allows you to see the ink feeding towards the nib platinum's stainless steel nib performs reliably with precision keep the nib fresh for extended periods of time thanks to platinum slip and seal inner cap mechanism this works like it works in a preppy it works in this pen it works in other platinum pens that I've had, it's amazing. Although the placier came with a single platinum proprietary cartridge to start, we know the Ink Flight crew is going to want to use this pen with an included ink sample, so a platinum proprietary cart converter is also included. Install this piston converter like an ink cartridge by pushing into the fountain pen section and then fill it with your ink of choice. The Ink Journal family is grateful for the support of all Ink Flight subscribers and customers of the inkjournal.com website. It is truly an honor and a privilege to serve this community of like-minded pen enthusiasts. To say thank you in a seasonally appropriate manner, we also included a sticker of a turkey holding an Estherbrook fountain pen. We commissioned an uh, illustrator. I'm going to say his name wrong. So here you go. To create this fun design it's a very cute sticker i love getting these stickers it's probably my favorite part of the ink plate box aside from the ink samples so yeah a pen a pen this month these we do get a pen every now and again it's not like a it's not a um a usual occurrence but it does happen from time to time i've gotten the kaveco perkeo before and um yeah let's see what ink we have Ooh. Ooh. Okay, remember when I got the um, Colorverse Project Series and I said, um, yeah, we'd probably see them in an ink flight? <laughs> well, we get to see them in an ink flight. Ta-da! Okay, so which one are we missing? We're missing one of them. We have Boo um, and Ori UMA Scorpy and then seal. Okay, cool. Awesome! So I'm still going to swatch these because, you know, that's what we do here. Um, and yeah, this month we adventure to, into the stars to explore 
uh, brilliant constellations brought, brought to you by South Korea's Colorverse Inc. Instead of traveling light years across deep space, this new ink collection is now in your hands. You won't need a telescope to see the glorious shading, sheening, and shimmering in this shimmering inks in this ink flight. So the one that we're missing is Signy. If I said that correctly, I probably didn't. Um, so I'm going to have to dig out the cards so we can see the whole set together. Um, because in the ink flight, we only get seven inks. So awesome. Cool. I'm very excited. Yeah, because this, this set has two glistening inks and we only got one glistening ink, which is fine. That's great. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to think, we already know that I like these inks, but uh, let's go ahead and swatch them for ink flight purposes because I like to keep my ink flights separate. That's what we're gonna do. So as usual, my swatching supplies include the coloring cards. I have my Moonman N6 glass dip pen, various paint brushes from the craft store, and we're gonna get going. We're gonna start with uh, Boo, which is, this actually, because Ink Journal did their research, includes what the um, constellations are. So, Al Alferat, I'm sure that I said that wrong. Sira, this is multi-chromatic, dusty, oops, that's the wrong one. Arcturus, a bubblegum pink, a bubblegum rose pink color that has legible saturation and good shading. I like this pink color, I haven't gotten it in a pen. Actually, the only, one of these inks that I've put in a pen is the Pisces version. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. This is Ink Flight November 21. We're gonna say, I'm just gonna do I'm not going to put the alpha symbol. I'm just going to put what the name is because, oh, I forgot to grab a cloth or paper towel. One second. Um, just to update you on uh, how we're doing in my house, um, we are doing okay. Um, for those of you who didn't know, one of my uh, cat's patches uh, passed away uh, last week, um, actually a week ago today. Um, doing okay, surprisingly. Um, I have had a, another family member uh, pass away um, yesterday, so I'm gonna go on record as saying that November 2021 sucks, and I hate it. <laughs> um, I'm doing okay. Uh, I, I think like it still hasn't quite hit me with the other family member yet because I'm still I'm still mourning patches so heavily, but um, yeah, it's it sucks. Like it sucks, um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know what else to say. I don't know where it's going with that, but yeah, it sucks. Um, but I'm doing okay. Uh, we're doing okay around here. Pearl has kind of been looking for patches, but she like looks down the hallway. There's from her cat tree, she can see down the hallway. And then from my room, she looks down the hallway the opposite direction. Um, but she hasn't like really cried or or anything. And she go went searching for him like one time. This is Boo, I love this pink. I really need to get this in a pen. Um, um, she did kind of like meow a little bit near the food bowl. Um, because we gave her some wet food and it's like a whole like ritual that it's not really like a ritual but it's you know just something that we do and um she kind of looked around like oh I'm like where's where's patches next up we have and um so yeah so anyway we're all we're all doing okay we're getting by it's sad um Friday I, I went and um, kind of like went insert like I forgot for a second. I was like, oh, I haven't seen patches in a while and I went to go look for him and then I realized oh, You know that that's why I haven't That's why I haven't seen him because um, he's not here <laughs> but um, yeah They leave a uh, mark on your heart our little furry friends and um, I wouldn't have it any other way so <laughs> Um, yeah, so Pearl's been like extra snuggly, 
with me and my roommate and um yeah that's about the, really the only difference aside from me and my roommate just like kind of being sad about it the whole time <laughs> um yeah especially my roommate it was really hard on my roommate because patches was kind of patches is kind of his guy so um you know I'm taking it hard, but he's taking it really hard. They had morning routines and they had stuff. They just had, you know, they're the best of buds. And yeah, he's missing his little buddy. So as hard as I'm taking it, nah, there is somebody taking it worse. And I feel for him. Um, in the meantime, I have been uh, doing lots of gaming. I keep meaning to do my community posts with my gamer friends. Um, I really want to do that. Maybe some pen people that I follow on Twitch. Um, I just haven't uh, taken the time to sit down and do that. So uh, here's and, which is a really pretty like gray with like blue. What's the description say here? This multi-chromatic dusky blue has undertones of gray and lavender. There we go. And then it's part of Alpharet's syrup. I really like this one too. Well, I like them in the swatch cards. I haven't used any of them in pens yet except for uh, the Pisces one. Um, let's see, next we have Ori, which is the one that I wasn't really fond of when I swatched them. It's not really my color. So, personal preference aside, it's it's a it's a lovely ink and there were a few people in the comments that were really excited about it so oh uh, yeah hopefully you're getting the ink flights if you are because you will have gotten a sample of it um the description says beetlejuice the brightest star in the orion constellation gets the most vibrant red color with a greenish yellow sheen somebody did this ink for 30 inks 30 days they did some like bloop splats and it was like an the orangey red color but then like just like a like not even a halo just like the entire like outer ring was nothing but like this greenish sheen it looked really pretty I'll have to see if I can find who that post was and maybe link them because it's really cool. If you follow 30 Inks 30 Days on Instagram, you've probably seen it though. It was from a couple days ago, I think. And in case you're wondering why I go across and then down, it's because if I, I like the line that I get, not that this is a straight line, but I like the line to go across and then, um, I do the straight line down because it keeps my cards from curling. Right on the brush. Um, they don't curl as much as if I if I do it like this, if I do it horizontally, they curl like a Dickens, but if I don't, if I do half the card straight up and down, they do not. I've mentioned it a few times, but I know that not everybody hears it every time, so. In case you were watching this and wondering, that's why. Sorry about the light. Like I use natural light in my videos and it's a really overcast, overcast rainy day. Um, so the lighting's not the best. I need to, um, when I was doing videos last winter, I had a light that I had sitting on my desk here and I need to find it again. Actually, what I need to do is I need to find uh, the adapter, the AC adapter so I can plug it in. Because I think Pearl ate it. <laughs> Next we have uh, UMA, which somebody in the comments of my video was, said that uh, this stands for um, Ursa Major, which totally makes sense to me. Um, I don't know how to say that, so I'm not going to. But uh, this complex gray color has murky undertones of purple and light green. Which is exciting! So I think I'm going to do, since I'm not doing 30 inks 30 days this month, I want to clean out a bunch of pens. And then do another currently inked. I know I just did a currently inked video, but... 
you can't have enough currently inked videos. And that way, yeah. I don't know, it just seems like it would be fun to do. I know people, I love watching currently inked videos. Like, uh, Waski's, Waski Squirrels, Pens in Use is like the highlight of my week. I love watching those videos. And like when other people do them too. It's just fun to see what pens people have decided to use. Like Chris and her uh, inked pens. Oh, they're my favorite videos of the week or of the month. I especially love her. Oh, oh, oh. I've just contaminated this particular swatch with that little bit of red. Um, I particularly love her report cards because you get to hear like what her thoughts of actually using the ink were. Um, I think that's a great idea. It's not one that I uh, incorporate into anything. <laughs> but if you're interested in that, maybe I could do something similar. I don't want to like steal her idea, but I know it's it's one thing to see a, an ink in a pen for the first time, but it's a totally a different thing to hear what they thought about it. So I don't know. I'm trying to like incorporate more of what I have already instead of buying new stuff, even though I have purchased a few new things. Um, the uh, Twisby came out with some new inks and I just got those in. Um, so I'm gonna try to do a video later today that will be up later in the week. Um, Uh, of those. Um, I think that'll be fun. Next we have Scorpii, which is a glistening ink. It's from the constellation Antares. Antares? And I'm probably, whatever, saying this wrong. This shading salmon color glistens with a br brilliant blue and silver twinkle. Sorry if my voice is kind of rough. It's uh, first thing in the morning and I haven't really spoken much today because it's a work from home day. This is a pretty salmon. Oh, I think I, I put this in a pen too. This was in my uh, Halloween currently inked. So I did put this in a pen too. I haven't used it a whole ton actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. I found my Lamy 2000 in a bag and so I've kind of been like writing with that. Colorverse Scorpii. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm gonna say it. This is 1121. This is a really pretty color. It's very light, um, which I think some people won't be uh, super fond of, but I don't have a problem with it. No, no, not that one. This one we can use. I'm gonna shake this up again because it does have the shimmer in it. You can't see the shimmer yet, but oh, you can kind of see it a little bit where it dried a little bit. It might be a little too wet to see it really uh, good though. Next we have this one. Psst, I don't know how to say it. Alpha Piscium. You'll find the muted hue of this bluish green shading ink welcoming to read. I do like this. I have this in my uh, Kaveco Olive Green. It's really pretty.
Yeah, I've been hanging out a lot on Twitch and just playing a lot of Bloodborne, like especially this past weekend. It's just been great. How's the time change going for anybody? I know some people have a really hard time with the time change. I was really sleepy all day Sunday. Even took a nap on Sunday, and it was, but it was one of those naps where you like don't feel better after the nap. You just feel more tired. And I ended up like going to bed really early. <laughs> I was modding in the uh, streams that I was modding in the streams that I mod in, and I was just like, guys, I can't, I cannot stay here. I need to go to sleep. And then I went to sleep, and I felt horrible. I felt absolutely horrible because I hang out in these streams all day every day whenever they stream and I just felt so bad for leaving not that they like expect me to sit around and be there the whole time but I just like to be I like to be supportive of my friends and what they're doing Ugh, this green though. I love it. I really, really love it. As much as I like all of the, like, the pink in this, like, this is the one that I was called to stick in a pen first. I just, ugh, I enjoy the muted green. It's, it's really easy to look at even though it's not, like, super, super dark and vibrant. And I just, it's really, it's a calming color for me. I really, I really, really like it. And then we have CMA, which I forget who, it's from Cirrus, right? Peacefully with the dusky blue tones of this ink, or Sirius, sorry. Um, the Dog Star Can Canis Major, is that what it stands for in Latin? I don't remember. I'm terrible. I'm so terrible with this stuff. Um, so I don't see, I don't really see blue in the green because it's just like such a muted green to me, but in the like fake chromatography here, you could see that some blue pulls out. I need to be better about doing chromatography. It's fun to do. Speaking of chromatography, have you been watching Sarah Katie's Colorverse series? Um, I love her inks in space. It's it's so fun. I love when she does that. I know it's a lot of work between like the research and all the stuff that she does, but I really enjoy her videos. And then um, Dorm the Dormouse's Desk has been doing their 30 inks, 30 days video. Uh, I don't know why my voice just went up that super high, but <laughs> they've been doing, uh, she's been doing her uh, videos and um, it's really great. The gorgeous artwork and then like the bleach splatters. It's like the videos are so calming to watch. And then, um, who else is Crafting Vicky is doing 30 inks, 30 days? Colorverse, C, M, A. Um, yeah, they've, the 30 inks, 30 days videos have been a joy to watch. I, honestly, I can say that I miss participating, even though I'm really happy with my decision to, like, take some time to, like, chill out and not worry about it. Um... But it's been a blast seeing what everybody else is doing. It's been a blast being a spectator instead of a participant um, this time. Um, yeah, even though I, I do, I am suffering a little bit of FOMO because it's just so fun. Um, plus, I had plans to use a bunch of inks and stuff. But I can do, I can put inks in my uh, currently inked pens, which is exciting. Some of the inks I wanted to use were these. Ooh, that is a lot of ink. Do not need that much ink. And some of the new stuff I've gotten in, I'm just, uh, I just want to get ink. I want to ink up all the pens. I ink up all the pens. And I'm really excited about starting the ink vent uh, calendar as well. pretty blue. It's a really pretty blue. Okay, we're going to let these dry. I'm going to see if I can find my Signy card so uh, we can see the whole set together. Okay, we're going to let these dry and I will come back with, um, I'm not going to do comparisons, but I'll come back. We'll show the line. I'll show the one that's missing from the set so you can get, uh, so you can see the whole set in case you haven't seen my uh, 
um, swatching my original swatching video of these inks. I'll also link the video up in the cards in case you wanted to watch it, um, even though you just you just saw them. Um, you just saw them getting swatched right here. Um, but yeah, awesome. So, okay, I'll be right back. Hi everybody, we're back. I have dried swatch cards and um, yeah, I wanted to show off what we have this month. So we have Boo, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous paint color that I cannot wait to get in a pen. We have And, which is this really pretty like gray and blue, like a bluish gray. I wanted to paint my room this color, but I was, I was vetoed or a color similar to this. Um, we have Ori, which is this gorgeous uh, reddish orange color with this sheen. I didn't get a lot of sheen on this card, but um, it does exist. It does exist. It's very pretty. This is, again, like I said, probably my least favorite of the entire set, uh, just because the, the orangey red color is not um, a color family you gravitate towards, but, excuse me, but it is very pretty. And then we have... Uh, Ursa Major, which um, I think the description mentions it's murky undertones of purple and light green, which you can definitely see, or I can. Hopefully you can see it. Um, we have uh, Colorverse Scorpii, which is that glistening ink that we have. Um, and Colorverse, the Pisces one. I'm just going to call it the Pisces one. And then we have uh, the CMA, which is really pretty. It's a nice, it's a nice like dusty muted blue. And then I pulled my card for Signe so you could see what the um, other car, card in, or what the other um, ink in the project series is. Zoom this up a little bit so you could see it. Um, yeah, so that's the full set of the project series number two based on constellations. Um, I have bottles of all of these inks, so I don't need to keep the sample. So I am going to do a giveaway. And the first person who comments saying they want it and lives in the United States um, and is comfortable sending me your address, <laughs> or if you have a, an address in the States that you could ship it to, I don't mind. I just don't want to, um, it's easier for me to ship to the States right now because um, I can just drop it off at the post office and I can reuse the box that um, the ink flight came in. Um, yeah, I'm sure that I'll probably throw in some other goodies, but I, um, yeah, I just wanna share the wealth of these samples. So if you are interested and haven't gotten any of the inks, um, I will also throw in a sample of Signe since I have a bottle of the ink and can share it. Um, yeah, if you're interested, let me know. Um, like I said, the first person to uh, leave a comment and say that you want it and, um, uh, live in the States. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and send it to you. I can send it out to you tomorrow, in fact, if I hear from you before then. <laughs> um, yeah, so awesome. So yeah, so this is the Colorverse uh, project series based on constellations. I am a big fan of Colorverse inks. I've not had a problem with a single one of them, shimmers or regular inks. I just think they're great. I like this line. It's muted, which isn't for everybody, but um, I feel like people are really kind of into the muted inks lately. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This is a great ink flight. I love ink flight. You know this ink flight is my favorite time of the month. And yeah, I'm excited to see what we get for next month in December. Um, yeah, super fun time. So thank you once again, Ink Journal, for a lovely um, box this month. Um, yeah, it was beautiful. I don't know if there are spots available yet. I know that they're, they've are they been um, full and there is a wait list, uh, but I know some of you have left comments that you have been pulled off the wait list, wait list and have gotten um, a chance to get boxes. So um, yeah, if you are wanting to get an ink flight and just haven't yet, uh, it's possible that you could. Um, yeah. So anyway, I don't get anything from this. I just love sharing these ink samples and all that stuff. So it's really great. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon with another video. And thank you again for all the love and support uh, with patches. I really appreciate that. Pearl really appreciates that. And um, I'm sure that patches would appreciate that as well. He's in kitty heaven looking down on us. So anyway, um, yeah. I'm going to go now. Thank you again so much. I will see you again very soon. Take care. Love you all.